Okay, hello and good day everyone. No, so today we will discuss naman about the kite. No, theory 5.5, which is the last topic for this lesson. Now, in theory 5.5, it states that if a quadrilateral is a kite, it has one diagonal that bisects a pair of opposite angles. Okay, so dito, no, sinasabi na only one diagonal that bisects a pair of opposite angles. And what are they? Here, no, ito. In a, in a kite A, B, C, D, as you can see, diagonal A, C, no, uh, bisects angle A and angle C into two equal measures. No? Now, example, if measure of angle A here is equal to 88 degrees, what is the measure of angle C, A, B, and C, A, D? No? So, hahanapin natin yung angle measure neto, hahanapin din natin yung angle measure neto. Okay? Now, since your AC here is the angle bisector of angle A, no? therefore, measure of angle CAB is equal to one half of measure of angle A. No? Again, again, sa midpoint postulate ulit tayo magrarelay kasi nga may bisector na involved. Now, your measure of angle CAB is unknown. Ano no? Pati your CAD also is equal to one half times measure of angle A. Now, since your measure of angle CAB is unknown no, and your angle A is 88 degrees, multiply it by one half, then your CAB is equal to 44 degrees. Next, substitute your angle A again to 88 no, to find your measure of angle CAD. One half times 88 is equal to 44 degrees for your measure of angle CAD. Okay? Again, your CAB is ito, 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 ha, ito. Your CAB is equal to 44 and the other one, your CAD natin is 44 degrees. And your, your whole angle A here is equal to 88. Okay? Now, the same story here for number two. If measure of angle A, C, D is equal to 37 degrees, what is your measure of angle C? Again, no? Your AC here bisects angle C. No? Therefore... Uh, your your um, the measure of angle C here or uh, was divided into two equal measures, no? From angle C, I mean A C D and angle A C B. Okay. Now again, we will use the midpoint postulate here. For your measure of angle A C D is equal to one half of measure of angle C, and if your A C D is equal to thirty seven degrees, multiply it by two. A 37 degrees times 2 is equal to 74 degrees for your measure of angle C na. So the whole measure of angle C here is for a 74 degrees. Okay. Next, if measure of angle DAC naman, DAC is 37 degrees, what is the measure of angle BAC? Again, no, since your AC here by sex angle A, no. And your measure of angle DAC, DAC is one half of measure of angle A, and measure of angle BAC is one half of measure of angle A. Okay, therefore, your measure of angle DAC is equal to measure of angle BAC. Equal lang sila kasi pas lang naman sila kalahati ni measure of angle A. Now, if your DAC is 37 degrees, therefore, your BAC is also, is also equal to 37 degrees. Okay. If now number four, no. If measure of angle DCA is thirty-seven degrees and measure of angle C is three x plus eight degrees, what is the measure of angle C? Again, your AC here. Na balik tayo dito sa figure by sex angle C, no. And yung D, DCA natin D start tayo dito DCA, no is thirty-seven degrees. It equals to one half of measure of angle C, which is 3x plus 8. No? 37 times 2, multiply natin. No? I mean, uh, tanggal muna natin degrees, then saka natin multiply. No? 37 times 2 equal to 3x plus 8. No? 2 times 37 is equal to 74. Then transpose 4 to the other side. We have 74 minus 8 equal to 3x. 74 minus 8 is equal to 66, no? Then divided uh, by 3, no? 66 divided by 3 is equal to 22. Cancel this out, your x is equal to 22. Okay? Now, 
Ah, tama. Kulang pa, no? What is your measure of angle si pa pala? Di ko natapos dito. No? Since your measure of angle, angle si here, no? is equal to 3x plus 8. Okay. Then substitute it to x. A or equal to 3x, no? And then substitute your x to 22. Then 3 times 22 is equal to 66 plus 8. And 66 plus 8 is equal to 274. Okay. Yan. So your measure of angle C here is equal to 74. Now, let us have an exercise. No? If measure of angle D here is equal to 108 degrees, what is the measure of angle EDC? Again, si angle D natin is 108 degrees. And then we have an angle bisector of DC here. So here, no? DC bisects angle D. And therefore, measure of angle EDC is equal to one half of measure of angle D. Now, Substitute na your measure of angle D to 108 na times 1 half is equal to 54 degrees. Okay. Number two, if measure of angle C here is 92 degrees, what is the measure of angle ICD? No? DC again by 6 angle C. No? Then we have measure of angle ICD is equal to 1 half of measure of angle C. Measure of angle ICD, unknown pa, but your measure of angle C is 92. Multiply it by one half or divide it by two, then we have ICD is 46 degrees. Next, number three. No? If measure of angle C is 89 degrees and measure of angle ECD is X plus 7, what is X? No? Again, your DC by 6 angle C. Ito yon. Now, substitute natin no? using this formula. Your measure of angle C is 89 and your ECD is X plus 7. Sumobra ng 2. Okay. Okay. Then, here, no, 89 times 1 half, that would be equal to 44.5. Then, transpose 7 to the other side. We have x is equal to 44.5 minus 7 is equal to 37.5. So, your x here is 37.5. Okay. So, that's it. Okay, thank you for listening and again, do not forget to answer your exercises. Okay, your quiz and assignment to be followed na. Okay, that's all. Goodbye and God bless.